Cancers, welcome to Visions of Light and Light. This is your reading for the energy in October. This reading is for all of the Cancers out here, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, the welcome back. If this is <laughs> your first time, I had a brain a brain fart, a brain fog, or something, whatever you call it. If this is your first time stopping by, I know October is only two days, well, one day left. Um, the But the energy is still lingering for October, so, um, yeah, welcome welcome back if you are returning viewer. If this is, is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading. You feel like I am the reader for you. And you want to show some support to this channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell and the thumbs up image to help the video circulate. If you need something more private, something more specific, something more personal to your story, the link to the email address is in the description box. All right. I'm just placing your cards as they come out. I don't want to hold up any time, any more time anyway. The nine of voice, voices. Temperance, Sagittarius energy is here. Let's get your outcome. Your outcome is the wheel and the reverse. The wheel and the reverse. All right. So let's see what's going on with my cancers. You have the muse of materials at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are juggling at this time or trying to maintain balance in a situation with someone. I feel like um, there could be three people involved in this situation. Some of you may feel like you are um, alone, like you're balancing things out by yourself. And this other person may be giving their energy to someone else from what I'm seeing. Someone is giving their attention and their energy to someone else. At this time, what the world could be messing with or dealing with an Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or a Taurus. But I feel like you and this person are at a distance. Some of you could be on a vacation as well, or you want to take a vacation. But I'm seeing you and someone being at a distance, not seeing eye to eye at this time. Um... Just coming from two different perspectives. Definitely coming from two different perspectives. And um, I feel like you want to travel towards this person because you want to balance things out. You want give and take. You want reciprocity. You want to see eye to eye with this person. But I feel like you two are on two different sides of the fence. Like this is what you want, but you don't know how to accomplish it. Because there could be different love languages. That's what I'm seeing. Um, in the past with the Magician card, Gemini, Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo or a Libra with this Justice card. You were manifesting balance within a long-term committed relationship or a marriage. You were manifesting balance in this situation. You were manifesting that... Um, you wanted someone to show who they really, who they truly were. And again, I'm just seeing that I'm seeing two people that think totally different. It's like, um, you, this may be like your opposite sign or something. Like this person may be the opposite sign of you. I'm trying to think what's the opposite sign of cancer. The opposite sign of cancer. I don't, I'm not sure. I have to um, look that up. I think it's, um, I, I can't think of it right now. But I, I feel like the, you two may be opposite signs. But comment below and let me know. Someone could have been wearing a mask needing to show their true feelings. Show, needing to show how they truly felt. Needing to show that they wanted balance in this situation. <clears throat> and right now, with this five of inspiration... I feel like there are some conflict going on. Either you're conflicted or your person is conflicted about a betrayal or someone 
stabbing them in the back. Someone feels like they were stabbed in the back, disappointed, let down, betrayed. This person could be telling you off or you're telling them off of how the energy as if it's to your story. But someone is being told off at this time with that ten of voices. You fear that you're not strong enough for this person. You fear that you are not going to be able to tame them. They are, um, you feel like this person is a wild beast. And it's causing you to feel anxiety. You are feeling anxious around this person. This person gets under your skin in some kind of way. It's like you have to learn each other's love language or something like that. You're hoping that you can balance things out while you're trying to be patient with them. You want to balance things out. You want to do things in moderation. You're trying to consider how they feel. But this person is like a wild card. I'm just feeling someone that's like a wild card. And because of your anxiety, the will is not turning. You're stuck on this will with this person. You are stuck, and we are going to find out why. Let's find out what else is going on here. What else is going on? What else is going on with the uh, Cancer's awakening? So you were manifesting an awakening in the past. Like, you wanted this person to see things for what they were. Yeah, you wanted clarity. You wanted this person to see something. Taurus energy. You wanted them to see your vulnerable side. You could have been talking to friends and family about this person. I feel like some of you, some someone was get someone had options here. Someone had with this moon card, Cancer. You may have had options or Pisces. I'm seeing someone here had a, an awakening and it was illuminated to this person. Someone got clarity pertaining to someone having a secret with that moon card. Someone being kept in the dark about someone here having options. It was either you or your person. And that's why things were so unbalanced. Yep, page of emotions. Someone was... um had like a friends with benefits relationship it was like coming in coming in and out having sex that's what i'm seeing and with this night of voices i feel like the person came in like a knight in shining someone here is very charming came in like a knight in shining armor to offer their cup of love but they had choices here Someone here had choices. Options. Where is that card? Yep, five of voices. And someone, five of voices. Someone, it caused some type of regret and disappointment. So with the Knight of Materials, I'm seeing someone coming in with a message of stability. But they're conflicted about it because they don't, they, 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 someone fears a rejection here. They know that they um are not in a position to ask for anything. Yeah, they fear this new beginning. Someone is conflicted about a new beginning because they're unsure if it's going to be accepted. Someone could be pregnant or have a new creative idea that they're about to birth as well. I'm seeing a, like a new business or I'm seeing someone being emotional about some type of creative endeavor that they're about to birth. That's what I'm seeing. And someone wants to take action, but they, they 
there's a decision to take action towards this relationship, towards this union. Someone is trying to make a decision to take action to go towards this union so this will can start turning, but they're conflicted. Someone needs more clarity about um, a third party situation or um, someone needs clarity about another person. Like, is there another person? Someone is not sure. Someone is unsure about another person being in this picture. And someone is in fear that they are being controlled by a, like someone, a puppet master. That's what I'm hearing, like a puppet, a puppet master. They, and they are trying to gain, gain clarity. And they want things to move quickly. They want to find out quickly if they're being controlled by this other person. Like if this other person is trying to manipulate them into doing something. <clears throat> they don't, trying to manipulate them into moving faster than what they want to. And they don't want to miss and ignore this. So they're, um, that's what's causing this anxiety. Because someone is unsure if they're being manipulated. If they're being manipulated into something that they're unsure about. Because I feel like someone has a secret lover on the side. Night of emotions. And now here we go again with this person wanting to come in to offer love. Wanting to come in to offer love and some type of stability, but I feel like manipulation is at play with that double card Capricorn's energy. Someone is being manipulated. It, it's a wish fulfillment. It will be a wish fulfillment to be able to hold on to this union. Someone definitely is wishing that they can balance things out and hold on to it. But in the back of their mind, they're like, okay, is there another person here? Is there another person here? Is what this person is saying with the ten of inspiration. Yeah, this someone doesn't want to be disappointed. And that's why that will is not turning. That's why things are stuck right now. Because someone is afraid to move forward because they feel like there's a, another person in the picture. It's, they're being kept in the dark about something. There's some uncertainty here. There is some uncertainty here. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Could be dealing with an Aries with this emperor. And as I said, someone feels like they're being controlled. Like someone is trying to control them, them and manipulate them. Show, using their emotions to manipulate the situation. <clears throat> And with this page of inspiration in a reverse, I'm just seeing things not moving forward right now. I'm seeing right now someone is turning their back on this. Turning their back on this situation. Because they feel like someone with their five of pentacles, the moon card, and all someone that someone feels as if the other person either has a friends with benefits with them or with someone else and it's being kept a secret. And they're trying to gain clarity. Here it is. The Hermit card, Virgo energy. They're trying to gain clarity regarding this situation. Could be a marriage. Yep. Let's see what the Love Oracle card says. <clears throat> What does the love oracle for us? It's like, do the, does this person, is there another person in the picture? Is there another person in the picture? Is there a third party energy here? Look at this, heartbreak, stabbed in a bit. So I 
I said someone, something deceiving, some deception or something is going on. And I feel like it's going to be shocking because, as I said, this could be a marriage or a long-term commitment. Someone's in this marriage is being stabbed in the back because this person is dealing with another person. You had soul con soulmate in the reverse. This person is not even not your soulmate. <clears throat> They're having fun. Why is this passion card here? Why is the, the passion card here for the sign of cancer? Okay. Yep. Someone has options. Keys on the ring. Options. Someone has keys to multiple homes multiple cars someone here likes having one night stands this person wears a mask and i feel like with this grim reaper i feel like this person likes to talk on the phone like gossip about the situation like they like to have fun or uh, talk about it because it boosts their ego so they run from this union so i'm gonna leave it at that cancers this is your reading for the energy in October, comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.